I think also, you know, I think we've got to put it down to the fact that people can't actually go to football at the moment and they are a little bit more more time on their hands. And you know what they say, what uh, the devil makes work for hired land. I think and that sometimes is maybe contributing to to this. Because let's face it, there's not been a lot of football up really, is there, for people to, to watch or go to. So it's been a little bit disturbing that. I think you look at you look at these things and they go on and there's a lot of talk about the social media companies and people talking to them and whatever but what really can they do can they do better checks when people sign up so that especially the 12 year old is reported to have done the first one that they really shouldn't be on social media should they not at that age because i'm sure there's an age limit age limit for it so that needs to be looked at is what they can do better but can they really do anything about it? Because you close that down, but that's there in another one. And so, it's, and so it, um, it continues. And it's a case of, uh, you know, the genie's out of the bottle. Can we, can we put it back in? No, you never can, as that goes. No, you can't. Um, but where the, where the control can come, or you can regain control, is ourselves as professional people, we can do better at not responding or take or responding in the right way to provocation from these these trolls and these people that do this sort of thing education is always the key to these things and i believe that talking about football is now because it happens to be a couple of footballers we're talking about at the moment they need help from whether it be the premier league or the fa or the pfa to and how to deal with this because companies do it all the time. If you have a, if you have a complaint and you send it to them, they have people who train them to deal with those complaints. So it's handled them the best way possible. React in, you know, not that way. So it um, it sometimes keeps fueling that that flame as it goes along. I think at times. So I think the education side of it is important. That as footballers, as people they learn how to deal with these situations better so or not respond themselves and somebody else responds on their behalf which is a more an official body that responds rather than them the players have got a job the players are doing a job and first and foremost ultimately it is your job and you should not um whatever it be prejudiced or your job because it wouldn't be allowed in if you run. if you worked in an office it would not be tolerated if that be the case and when you look at the the F, for instance or as you find um legislation that these people can be dealt with better you know it's um it, it's again how much can they do all they can i think really do is again down to the education side of it again. And can the, can the PFA be the ones that the players go to and say, I've had this, and the PFA is the ones that take it out. And maybe they're the ones that actually respond and put it on, put it on, on the PFA side and say, this is what players are having to deal with day in, day out, rather than the player maybe doing that. The PFA have got guidelines in place and the PFA are the ones that will put together the response and then the player can put that out there. The player reacting to something, it's coming from something that, and hopefully you get a more measured response rather than a reactive one. PFA, but also I think the Premier League, the FA, you know, looking at the people that are at the head of the sport, they should be the leaders with all of this and they should have these things in place so when it happens all the clubs know exactly what to do yes the player reports it and then he gets help he or she gets help with how to go about to respond to it the problem with social media is everybody it, they, everybody it's got to be immediate and so why do you fall into that trap and be immediate with it if you can take 10 minutes take half hour whatever before you respond to whatever is written, surely that's better because you've given it some thought and have put something constructive together that can hopefully appease it or get more control over maybe what these people might come back with.